Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie. The channel is all about Hawaii food and family and today we have a very special episode. As you can see, I have my mom and her three brothers here. Everyone say hi. Hi. And the last plantation video that we made last year went really well and everyone loved it. So I thought I'd ask them all back to do another one and they're going to be creating more local dishes from the past. Uh, that remind them of their upbringing for all of you and so we're going to break this up into a two-part video so welcome to part one it's going to be great and yeah keep watching you're going to get to see a lot of their dishes they have background their their growing up was in lapa hoi hoi on the big island so their their upbringing was very much that plantation style and um you know coming from a family that didn't have a lot and so they went they made a lot with a little bit of food let's just introduce all of okay. the siblings mm -hmm. so let's go from oldest to youngest oh wow <laughs> okay i'm gail i'm i'm Ori. <laughs> i can't help with that <laughs> owen ben okay. benji either way <laughs> okay all right so uh, they will all prepare a dish for you and we hope you enjoy all right, so now we are going to be starting my mom's dish and you want to kind of share what we're going to be making today okay so when we were growing up whenever there was a birthday fried chicken was a special dish and so we always had fried chicken grandma made fried chicken so i'm going to try and make fried chicken grandma's fried the way chicken. she made it okay and i know that at back you know at that time she probably just used salt and pepper and flour and it was really delicious i we growing up we thought it was the best okay so um, i'm going to ma make fried chicken hopefully kind of like how she did it because you know we, we grew up eating it and i think that was one of the dishes that i didn't really um learn how to make <laughs> just watching and eating right? but you make your own version of fried I chicken now version right so but did grandma always use drumsticks or did yes she use it was well, oh. drums, drumsticks and thighs, but we loved the drumsticks. We have many pictures of us eating a drumstick. Maybe we should, if I can find one, yes. I will uh, put it in. Yes, so we'll see. that was the thing. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start. And so some of the things are different, I know, because I'm sure she used um, Wesson oil, right, at that time. But I, I've i switched over, so I use strictly olive oil here. So it, this is olive oil for sauteing specifically for sauteing and, um, um, and stir-frying. So, so I do stir use um, um, yeah, olive, oil. olive oil. Yeah, so we're going to just heat up some olive oil here. And what actually, kind of pan are you using? I'm using a non-stick. It's an iCook. <laughs> There's a really loud car going by. Okay. Okay. It's a non-stick pan. Yeah, it's a non-stick pan. pan. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. Okay, so it's going to take some time to heat up, so... Okay. But I'm going to add some oil to about um, maybe a quarter inch high because, you know, I'm not deep frying, but I am kind of... I'm cooking it in, in oil, yeah, so it, did, it has to be... Did Grandma deep fry when she would make it? Yeah. she. I mean, she didn't deep fry, but she... she there there was oil in there. A lot of thick oil. Yeah, it was... Yeah, okay. So you want to wait to make yeah. so while we're waiting then why don't you kind of share what your okay so what's I'm gonna, the batter i have flour here okay. i have paprika which is my addition <laughs> i like to use paprika salt and pepper so it's very simple okay, yeah very simple so no egg or anything you don't use no egg. no so i'm gonna just um, take the time now and just since we're waiting for the oil to, uh, my paprika my salt mm -hmm. and my pepper okay, okay. so um, that's going to be that is your batter our coating for our mm -hmm. chicken coating for the chicken okay and we are using strictly drumsticks and, and I you know this is I, how many pounds of drumsticks it's almost four pounds no no seven. Oh, six, seven six, pounds. six to seven six to seven pounds there we're having a dinner tonight yeah. so it will be it'll all be eaten yeah hopefully Maybe about a quarter inch high. I, I think it, that, that that's enough. Be, yeah. Is that good? Oh wow! Is that about a quarter inch? Okay. Yeah. So you you usually uh, turn the pan on and then you put the oil in, right? Right. Do you wait the, the pan gets hot. Yeah. You? Right. I do. I I usually do that's my practice. 
I don't know that it matters, honestly. Okay. So, and the thing is, the oil does have to be hot. And it's not hot enough. So we gotta wait. So we have to wait. So how do you know that the oil is ready? Um, I just why put do you my know hand that? over. Oh. <laughs> I put my hand over. Let me do it too. Ah! <laughs> Feels like it's all awesome. It's warm. It's pretty hot, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna start dredging my my chicken. Yeah, chicken. And I wanna do six to eight. Hopefully, I'm okay. hoping to do six to eight. And the measurements right of how much flour and all of the different ingredients, the flour, salt, paprika, and pepper will all be in the description box. So you can check there for it. But um, what when do you remember grandma making this? Like at parties or They're mostly because you know fried chicken. Um, you know, it takes a long, well, it takes effort and I, I don't think that, you know, they were able to maybe buy a lot of, you know, um... It's not like they had Popeyes back then, right? Right, you know, so, um... Yeah, I mean, they had to make their own fried chicken and I think, you know, I think their budget was kind of limited at that time, so I don't know how often we... It, does, I, it was like a special dish for mm. us, yeah. You know, the fried chicken, and it was mostly like it's on birthdays or something. I think kind of, kind of sad, but that's how it kind of Because was. when I think of like plantation dishes especially, I think a lot of it's like chopped up meat with a lot of vegetables. That's right. It's kind of how it you was. Know, this definitely is like the opposite. This is right. not... Right. It was um, like you could get a whole drumstick, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. We'll see if the oil is ready. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's put it it's a little sizzle. Yeah, it's a little sizzle. I think it's pretty much ready. With fried chicken, how do you know when it's um, ready? Like. Um, Do you know how long to cook it? So I think if you read recipes and you read what's safe, you know, because it's, it's, it's um, dark meat, you have to, you should, um, you could me measure the temperature. It's like yeah. 165 to 170 degrees on the inside. Or you could just slice, like take a real thick, thick, um, thick drumstick. And um, poke it, po open it, cut it, and as long as the juices run clear, I think is what I've read that it's okay. You know, want to give it room to fry nicely, and I think um, it's got to fry at least ten minutes on one side. On each side. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. So we'll come back at yeah. you in ten minutes. All right. So because our chicken's gonna take a little while. Mom took out a second pan, right? Yeah, because we're kind of in a time crunch. We're having my brothers cook as well. And raw so is in this kitchen. <laughs> so I'm using my stainless steel I cook. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So I heated it, I'm, I already heated it up because stainless steel, you want to heat up early, right? Okay. So that, uh, why do you want to heat it up early? So that um, it's supposed to be like the pores close, so you it won't stick as much. So. That's what I'm looking at.
said now um, that we turned it over, it's been 10 minutes on one side. Now it's 20 minutes on the other side. So it's kind of a longer process to fry our chicken. Okay, so I think we're ready to pick it out now. All right, sounds good. good. Okay, so. So it's been cooking for a total of 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Right. But the color is very, very nice. The nice golden brown. And then what we're going to do is add more oil, mm -hmm. bring the heat back up, and then put in our next batch. Okay, so I'm just taking the biggest, fattest um, chicken in. I just want to make sure the inside is cooked, so I'm going to give it a, a slice through to make sure that the juices run clear and the juices run clear so I hope you can see it. So we're gonna try this chicken juice and start slicing it up. Oh wow that's a great idea <laughs> out there. Why don't we try it? Oh, we may as well. Yeah we may as well cook yeah. Okay so Terry you can you can have a bite here. Ooh hot? I'm sure it's hot. It is hot. Really well. Hot, it's very mm. nice. Very nice. Very good cheddar. Mm. Is there enough flavor? Mm. Is there enough flavor? No. It's something like this. I'm mean, only taking that maybe. Moist, very, very good. Is it hard to dry out fried chicken? No. Mm -hmm. um, good. Cooks perfectly. Good, yeah. Yeah. All right, so okay. now we are back, and uh, Uncle B here is going to be doing his dish. And you want to share what you're going to be making? Yeah, I'm going to be making shoyu hot dog. And um, I just remember mom and dad making this dish. Um, uh, I guess little what do you call it um, you know disclaimer is that uh, I don't remember exactly how they made the dish <laughs> but I remember them making the dish and uh, you know we go a day trip to Kawahai go to the beach mm. and we um, have uh, they make musubi and bento. of course pan and bento and this is one of the things show you hot dogs so uh, look, looking forward to seeing how this comes out I yeah guess. <laughs> and, and I mean the good thing about show you hot dog is it's super simple and you know it's like when you don't know what to make or you know you have egg and then you know a good side of hot dog is mm -hmm. always yeah. always delicious yeah yeah what kind of hot dog are you using today? we are using redondos ah. yeah. i remember this brand growing up um i don't know if gail remembers back in hilo uh, there was one called frank's foods they made hot dogs too and in uh there was also miko i think miko's hot dogs uh, all right okay, let's get, we'll get started, started? Yeah, okay let's yeah get started. so first thing i'm just gonna cut some uh onion and um, like I said, I don't remember the specifics of how we did it, but um, you know, I'm just gonna cut some and see how it comes out. What is one quality that Grandma exemplifies? You know that you remember mm. to this day. I I think we we're just talking about it, but she was just a very hard worker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she always you know took care of her customers in the barber shop and um uh she i guess uh, probably gail said this too but she was very disciplined in her life you know in doing things that needed to be done when they needed to be done mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so she was really good about that I think, so yeah yeah i mean i as a her grandchild too i would always see it and i know my mom talked about grandma walking every day and doing all those kinds of things but i feel like she's really taught us a lot of good life lessons that you know it, that's probably why she lived to 100. Mm -hmm. She's living to 100. And um, I think for all of us, it's, it, it's good lessons on how we can also prolong our life and have a good, long quality life. Because mm -hmm. you had a different upbringing than my mom, you would say. They're, yeah. they're 10 years apart. Yes. <laughs> so. Yeah. Hope you know who's younger. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but so my mom did the ashi. Wow. Some yeah, people know. Some people might not know. Really. Right. See, so a compliment. mom, as you you said that at second grade. So mom, just so you know, just made fried chicken, and she's trying um, this Japanese product, and she's trying to get the oil to solidify. So don't mind her mixing. But since you're here, what um you were out of the house by the time Uncle B was second second grade, right? So yes. how would you guys say your parenting styles, you had, did you have the same parents or do you feel like you had different parents? No, I think um, they were a lot lenient for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our grandpa always um, was very gentle with me, but not with no. Ryan and Owen, but yeah. with Dad, I don't think, they were, he, was, he, was, he was not the same parent, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I can remember uh, Warren and you guys that much as far as when I was younger, but um, you know, uh, grandma would say to grandpa, you know, and he would let me do something that maybe I wanted to do, but maybe they didn't really want to. Yeah. But I remember grandma saying, Daddy, you're spoiling him, you know. <laughs> I can see her saying that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what is the next step here? So I'll make it all, cut it all, I'll cut some more onion, and then I'll make some of the show you sugar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll come back in a little bit. Okay. All right, so we are ready. So what is your... So uh, I'm gonna try the onions, I guess. Okay. Let's put it in this next step. And then I'm gonna go... And then let's mix in the shoyu and the sugar. Ooh, yeah. Uncle Benji, what are you making? I am making shoyu hot dog with onion. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I was saying earlier that I forget exactly how to do it, so I'm just kind of winging it as we go along Looks here. Looks good. Okay. So a lot of you remember Auntie Claire. Yeah. Auntie Claire has yeah. been featured in many different videos as well. She's very good at it. She's very good at it. <laughs> if, if you, I'll, I'll link some of her videos below as well. She has a very famous poke video here on the channel. You can watch. And people like her, um, what, what are the cabbage rolls that you may call? Wombok, sweet and sour wombok cabbage. Sweet and sour wombok cabbage. Okay, so Uncle Benji now okay. is mixing the shoyu and sugar simple. together. Yeah, yeah. Very simple. And I'll just Thank keep you. mixing the yeah. onions. Sauteing the onions. And we're going to add the hot dog in mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, some more onions. We're going to add, so more, gonna add onions. more onions. It's a lot of hot okay. Okay. And Grandma also just woke up. Yeah. So we'll see, the food. we'll see if we can get Grandma as well on camera. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. She just smelled the food. That Grandma went. smelled the hot dog. The hot dog back in the day. Brought back memories. Yep. Brings back memories. This, then you don't have to worry about the being exactly the same. So I guess it's time. I'm just putting it in. Alright. Where to show you? How long do you. Um, it's in there already. Oh. Yeah. How long do you cook the shoyu and sugar in the hot dog? Is it just till um, it coats it? or? Yeah, till it looks ready. Till it looks ready. <laughs> yeah. It's like caramelized? Yeah. Like five, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes, maybe. You boil up the excess water. Mm. So, Auntie Claire, did you also grow up eating shoyu sugar hot dog? Sure. Is it sardine like and onion? Oh, yeah, sardine and onion. Sardine and onion. Awesome. Yeah. So, they have a Japanese term for the shoyu sugar. Um, what do they call it in scale? Sato shoyu. Uh, sato shoyu? Sato. Sato shoyu? Sato shoyu. Sato. Uncle Warren's, I mean, Uncle Owen's whispering, yeah. what? Yeah. Sato? Sato sugar. Oh, sato, 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 sato sugar. Sato is the sugar. Yeah. Got it. We're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see us try the delicious food, which is behind me, we are going to show it in our part two. So please make sure to come back next week and we will try all the dishes that we made today. All right, see you guys. Yeah.